Good morning, Vietnam. When, uh, when you are a little bit above the normal, uh, more real, smarter, uh, more conscious, the reality tries to uh, dig you down. It, it protects itself from you, the, the human reality and even the general reality, like all the habits of na nature. When we push uh, further than, than the habits in this earth, all the forces of the, of the past based on, uh, on habits of the past dig you and drag you, drag you down. You know, you will see it in the humans around you if you are smarter, uh, more real, with 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 more light inside. The the surrounding mediocres will try to uh, uh, like shame you and keep you down. Uh, that doesn't mean that they are bad people. No, they are mediocre people that uh, that uh, just value themselves by the level of of their uh, mediocrity not being reflected to them you know so so the beauty the deep stuffs are in this reality they are still uh, fought against uh, ferociously i don't know if this world is is correct so uh yeah so you will experience this yourself and also uh, books will experiment this uh, movies will experiment this the reality protects itself of something high something deep they will laugh at you when they don't understand when they are empty inside and and you think they are at your level of understanding of feelings and they are not people will laugh will 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 uh, shame shame the stuffs shame the people shame the artists shame the writers you know uh, the singers, they are just not, they are overwhelmed by something that is far, far, far away from them. That It's resonating in higher dimensions, okay? So those, those stupid humans, they, they, will, uh, they will jump on any even child, child that is bright and stuff, and they will try to extinguish him, okay? So I go back to this movie, uh, June, which is based on a book. So the, the book is, the story goes further than the movie. If you see the movie of David Lynch, for example, it's just one part. It's the beginning of the, of the story. So uh, this uh, Paul, Paul Muad'Dib, will have a son and his son have another reality in this planet uh, of, uh, of the deserts. Uh, so it is just the beginning. But yet, yet when, when I didn't know, I thought, okay, it's based on a book, but this is the, just the story. I didn't know that it's all just the beginning you know so they tell you that uh, uh, david lynch don't like his movie yet the movie it's is is very very uh, crazy as a piece of cinema like the costumes the, the the cinematographic of it is is crazy it has its own its own touch it has its own strangeness to it so it's not a movie li like to be ashamed of but they tell you david lynch did, don't, didn't even want his name on the movie like the movie is, is so mediocre which is madness okay and uh, and and then they told you that uh, this uh, it was supposed to be done by by alexandro khodorovsky or something this guy he, this alexandro khodorovsky stuff is a mediocre he's a mediocre uh, when we think about uh, uh, i mean there is uh, like big movie makers, you always have a movie when you say uh, Coppola or uh, Milos Forman, you have a movie of them. You know, Amadeus Mozart of Milos Forman. The music, the, the, the light of it, the, 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 the acting, it's just a piece of total cinema, you know. Uh, even very small movies like not, didn't change the world, but when you see Dracula, Dracula of Francis Ford Coppola, you remember the the taste of it, the imagery, how, how they work to make it, it still put an impact of it, of you, cinematographically. Is it Kubrick, uh, Kubrick with his uh, space uh, stuff, Odyssey, and every, there is there, there is people who could have uh, uh, pretend or, or be be in the place to 
to uh, deserve to put such such a book into a movie better than this Khodorovsky guy when you look his his movies I you don't even bother it's it's kind of the leftist movie you know the leftist art and uh, you know the, the the bullshit you know which doesn't make sense which makes some people go ah oh, it's, it's just the emptiness emptiness and nonsense you know this uh, this stupid art that that art between bracket that uh, took took all the real beauty the real imaginary the, the real of 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 everything music uh, in the cinema in the art the mediocres they are pushed you know so they still uh, there is a documentary like this Khodorovsky what he wanted to to do with the movie will be so great it would have been just a piece of crap if if we followed um, uh, this reality so this reality is protecting itself even uh, by this way by telling you that uh, this Alexandro Khodorovsky would would have done something better you know than David Lynch Okay, what's so special about this June stuff? There is very deep stuff uh, in the books. In the book of, uh, there is, I think, a tree or something of tomes of it. Uh, 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 there is a deep, a deep concepts there in the books. I give you an example. I didn't read them. I just uh, watched some stuff and I have an idea. I have an audio book, which I, I listened to a big part of it. Uh, for example, the banning of artificial intelligence of the computer. Uh, one of the of those uh, those civilization there, those different stuff, they didn't have artificial intelligence or computing. This is why the the movie, as as a science fiction piece, has a very specific taste of it. The their uh, spaceships and uh, and their uh, inside their uh, their castles and everything. It's because there is no artificial intelligence because they banned it, and uh, and you will be sentenced. It has sentenced to death if you uh, mimic uh, the the intelligence of the life in a computer. So they, they kind of grasp it that it's uh, something very uh, uh, disgusting to to do. It's very powerful at the time, especially at the time when the book were written, that you have uh, already a civilization banning this. Okay, uh, there is the concept of uh, physical transformation because of the consciousness uh, when when uh, uh, in this movie of david lynch the, the, when you go farther uh, inside the, the books not where the, where all the movies try to stop the story uh, the son of paul muadib he will uh, experience a physical transformation he will become something else he will fuse with with what is uh, those huge creator in the desert called, called worms and he will become half uh, half warm, half human, uh, like different creature, and he will be a god emperor. So there is this concept of changing in the spiritual and changing in the matter, in the form, having an, another form, which is crazy, which is crazy. It's, it's deep, deep stuffs, uh, stuffs that are not treated in, a, in, a, in other books and stuff. Very, very powerful. There is the concept of uh, reincarnating a soul. So this uh, Duncan character, apparently in the books, uh, he's a very powerful warrior, serving the those uh, those Atreid uh, faction house of Atreids or something. He's serving them, and they keep uh, cloning him, keeping him back. His soul is is like trapped, serving them. He's very uh, heart full, heart but warrior. So somehow he has been used again and again and again. So the, the deep concept also. And uh, something which has been put in the movie uh, of uh, Lynch uh, is, is the power of voice. They will use the speech, the vibration as a power. They will need some device to amplify it and it will be a weapon sh sh uh, killing with the speech, defending yourself with the power of your voice of your vibration so the, the formulating your own vibration and the stuff that we, we they try to stop us to do from when we are kid we have to to ask when we we want to talk in the classroom and to use our voice to try to dig this into you i'm still i'm still now as a man i'm still taking back my power to formulate to to say directly what's inside without distorting it to to shape the what humans are expecting, what the social stuff is expecting. 
So the power of voice is there. It's in the book. It's in the movies. David Lynch put it in the movies with the voice. And uh, at the end, uh, near the end of the of the of the movie, uh, Paul Muad'Dib uses his voice without the device. He just uh, split the man in two, you know, and and the floor behind him without any uh, using of uh, of device, uh, technological device to amplify to. To amplify his power it's very powerful the voice guys the voice formulating saying to those uh, mediocre when they are mediocre say it to them find a way but use it don't don't let them be more more down or, or down you you know use this uh, vibration to uh, to stop the stuff uh, it's it's more the vibration than the, really the the words you know it's it's what is carrying them the the, the 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 words are not that important. It's the vibration behind it, the way you see it, is it coming from the the real energetic centers of you? This is a very important. Yeah, so we have a very powerful concept. So the reality is is, is kind of shielding itself from this, huh? yeah, compared to other science fiction movies. This is high level. This is high level. What we have also we have we have a spiritual. Um, psychedelic experience when uh, Paul Muad'Dib uh, drinks this water and he has this uh, kind of deep spiritual um, experience which is very physical very and very universal it is that powerful that his mother and sister which are way start bleeding from the noise it's 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 crazy shit it's a uh, it's powerful scene you know and uh, and this scene is uh, is dressed with some music how this may be one of the most uh, crazy piece of music when it comes to consciousness experience to translate what what is uh, going deep into some spiritual experience some shift this is crazy how reality even if it's defending itself the truth can go through to, to make this scene with this kind of music it is kind of powerful okay so this was on the david lynch okay so now we have uh, a new a new um, uh, June made by this uh, uh, I think uh, Villeneuve yeah Villeneuve I don't remember his uh, first name so he made a, he made a new movie and still the movie is is decent is good compared to the bullshit we we see now there is decency in it in the sense it's not overusing the visual. Um, uh, the visual CGI and everything to 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 seem more 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 flashy or it it is used just for the story and many many of these mediocres they will say the movie is not good it's blah blah it's blah because they don't they don't like uh, simple simply simplicity beauty they they don't uh, like some uh, not showy stuff so the the colors are not showy. Uh, the experience of uh, when uh, Paul put his hand in this stuff that will give him a uh, very uh, huge pain, but he, if he take his hand out, he's dying. There is a lot of uh, not overdoing. There is nothing really uh, bloody or something that is shown, but still it shows you the uh, the pain and the, and the situation. So, so to put this kind of scenes in in a very uh, classy way not not overthrowing uh, violent uh, images and everything it's classy cinema it's classy cinema if, so even now in this mediocrity this uh, the truth is still trying to push push something into this uh, reality tr true cinema so even if the mediocrity is is uh, is is stopping it like many 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 uh, stuffs if you read what they think about this movie, you will not go and see it. But me, I, I don't watch movie. I didn't watch to. I didn't want to watch it because I have such. When I was kid, I had this uh, this stuff with Lynch, this spiritual experience. It, it left some some good memories, big memories, deep stuffs, you know. And I didn't want to watch that. Then I watch it and I oh, this is good cinema, you know, because it's not overdone. It's not um, it's not like what we see now. So uh, the truth is pushing 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 because there is a lot of good stuff into this uh, June books and movie so okay it is uh, it's a balance between uh, the old and uh, and the more enlightened and this is what we can really uh, say about this uh, June book and movies close to the 15 minutes see you next time